James Wan is this wine is next. This is called Chateau de Coudre Le Grand Boquito Chinon 2018 Vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this beautiful Cabernet Franc wine. So Chinon versus New World. In my opinion, they just taste so different. And yes, they're Cabernet Franc wines, 100%. And to me, they just are very, very expressively different and very nice. So I definitely love the Chinon. I think it's just a fantastic region, good value. And uh, so first of all, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And if you already have, merci beaucoup to you. I do appreciate it. Also, this is a sponsored video by my business attorney, Steve Sherman. In fact, the best business attorney in the state of California. I'll put more information on his practice down below. He's worked on non-disclosure agreements for me. So Steve Sherman's fantastic. He's always looking out for my best business interests and I feel very protected and certain about the documents he executes for me. Now, let me show you the label up close. Now you're gonna see on the label, not the producer's name, but the bottling name. So Le Grand Boquito Chinon 2018 Vintage. And so the back label right here, Chateau de Coudre. Now this is a 14.5% ABV wine and uh, loveliness. So look at the bottle shape. Of course, you're gonna see this uh, burgundy style bottle for Chinon wines. There's a huge difference uh, in terms of how they, how they taste and express. So when I would compare say New York Cabernet Franc or Virginia, even California, now, there's a difference between, say, California and New York simply. I would say they're not always 100% identifiable by each region, but what I would say is that they're identifiable easily on price. And I've seen, you know, 100% uh, variety labeled Cabernet Franc in California. They're pretty expensive, and so not everyone is super expensive, but I would say, and I haven't done an averaging of this, but I've seen bottle price points in the $70 range. That's really expensive in my opinion. This bottle here was $12.99. There's a variance on this in terms of, I've seen this for, for the price point of $12.99 all the way up to $19.99. So it will vary wherever you find this wine bottle. So a lot of New World can express on a very green uh, experience as well as, you know, obviously on the thicket of uh, herbaceous quality and that is the fresh herbs versus dried herbs there's a difference and ultimately sometimes someone might find it to be almost undrinkable or maybe it needs more aging or maybe you definitely need food with it and I'm not saying that I hate New World Cabernet Franc there's I think you know good examples out there and I've tasted some really handsome delicious New World expressions including from all the states I mentioned of uh, raspberry a bit of pomegranate notes split cedar red clay earth and dried herbs next is the palate characterization forward acidity on this and even on just the very beginning experience of this wine on the palate i'm understanding that this is definitely cabernet franc it is not merlot cabernet sauvignon it is not petite verdot um, or malbec it is what it is and that's a very good thing i definitely love and enjoy cabernet franc and so this is giving notes of red cherry currant sage and cardamom this is 93 points out of 100 points and thank you for watching questions and comments, please list them down below. And again, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. And if you already have, merci beaucoup to you. I do appreciate it. And if you have any questions, you could also list them on the social medias that I'm on that you're probably on as well, such as Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And I will see you in the next video review, which will come up very, very soon. Share this video. Thank you for your support. I will see you in the next video. Sante.